we are going to uh, test the copper cation we are taking 2 ml sample solution in the test tube now we are going to add uh, 2 ml uh, 0.5 ml dilute sodium hydroxide that means 2 m sodium hydroxide solution in this test tube it will produce blue gelatinous precipitate this one drop is blue gelatinous precipitate and which will not dissolve when excess amount of sodium hydroxide is added now he is adding excess amount of sodium hydroxide the ppt is not dissolving <coughs> more and more sodium hydroxide is being added but the ppt is not dissolving we are going to add more sodium hydroxide in this solution to see if the precipitate dissolves according to the theory the ppt should be insoluble in excess alkali and the ppt is ppt is insoluble in excess alkali this indicates the presence of copper another test tube in another test tube we are taking another sample solution another 2 ml sample solution now we are going to add dilute that means 2 m ammonium hydroxide in this solution like the previous one he is taking 2 m dilute ammonium hydroxide solution it will also produce blue precipitate and the ppt is blue add excess amount of uh, ammonium hydroxide this produces deep blue color and the ppt is also insoluble in the excess ammonium solution <coughs> this is a blue color solution add some more ammonia this blue coloration indicates the presence of ammonia uh, presence of copper in the solution it's a blue color so the presence of copper is further confirmed we are taking another uh, 2 ml sample solution in a test tube now we are going to add potassium ferrocyanide this is another uh, test uh, for just one or two drop, one or two ml of potassium ferrocyanide in the solution. This will produce a uh, chocolate brown color. This is chocolate brown color. Chocolate brown color. This uh, finally confirms the presence of copper in the solution. This is chocolate brown, brown, brown color, you can see that the color is chocolate brown. And these are all about the taste of copper, the presence of copper. Uh, another 2 ml sample solution is being taken in the test tube. Into this test tube, we are going to add one or two drops of potassium iodide solution. This will produce bra uh, white PPT, but due to the presence of iodide, it will form brown coloration. This is the brown coloration with the presence of iodine. This indicates the presence of copper. Brown coloration, this is the presence of iodine. So the uh, copper ion has been tested in four ways. This is the presence of copper.